Hey everyone, welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I am Adrian, and today we have a sequence for your hamstrings. Um, a lot of us could use a little extra loving in the hammies and the whole sit bone to heel connection. So today we're going to play with that again, remembering that it's all connected, baby. And we're going to um, use a block if we have it. If you don't have a block, you might grab a book. If you don't have this, no problem. But you probably will want this, which is a strap, or you can use a tie or a belt or something long enough to go from your hands to your toes. All right, so let's hop on the mat and give our hammies some good, good loving. Okie doke, so to begin, uh, we're going to come onto our backs. Now for this sequence, uh, as I mentioned before, you're going to need a strap or you can use your tie. So grab your piece of rope or belt or tie and let's come to lay on flat back. All righty. So I'm going to bring the knees up here, soles of the feet on the mat, and I'm just going to take a second to get comfortable. So um, sometimes we can have kind of so much tension in the shoulders here that uh, we get stuck. So press into the head, press into the elbows, and lift your chest up off the ground and draw the two shoulder blades in together and down. I'm kind of opening up the chest area here. I'm scratching my upper lip. Okay. And then I'm going to tuck my pelvis in here too. So tailbone lengthens down towards the bottom edge of the mat. And I draw the navel down just slightly. So I'm just coming to a nice open um, chest and a nice supported lower back. Cool beans. Now I'm going to take my strap or whatever you have. And I'm going to take it in both hands, extend the right leg up towards the sky, keep this knee bent. So both knees are bent, sole of the left foot's on the ground for support. So working at all levels here, but even if you're super flexible, it's nice to just kind of set the tone that I'm gonna be mindful on my mat, right? I took dance for many years and I can't tell you how many times I would just like come straight to here and I, yeah, yeah, that's just so not, so not kind. Practice ahimsa, here we go, okay. So taking the strap, I'm gonna bring it to the ball joint of my right big toe. Just kind of take it from the big toe to the pinky toe ball joint there. Now knee is nice and bent here. I'm gonna slowly slide the right heel up towards the sky. Now I might straighten the leg here, or I might keep the knee bent generously, making sure that the chest stays open here and the lower back nice and supported. So I have the sole of the left foot here for stability. I'm gonna take a deep breath in here and a long exhale out. <sighs> Holding the strap or the tie in both hands here, take a deep breath in. And a long, slow release out. <sighs> cool, make sure the neck isn't too tight here. Chances are you're probably looking at the video, but when you look away, just take a second to tuck the chin into the chest and feel the spine nice and long. So especially as we work in these targeted muscle groups or these videos that kind of focus on one muscle group, I just want to reiterate that it's all connected, baby, so we're paying attention to the line of the spine. <laughs> Somehow, something on my lip. We're paying attention to the full body, full body experience. Okay, a couple more breaths here. We can begin to straighten that leg maybe if that feels good. If not, keep it nice and bent. Let's move nice and slow, breathing into the back of that right leg. Next step, we're gonna take the strap, we're gonna bring it into the right hand here. So I'm gonna take my right palm, clasp it around my strap, bring the left palm to the top of that left thigh bone. So I can stay here, relaxing, or I'm gonna to begin to slide the right heel all the way down towards the bottom edge of the mat, finding a little opposition energetically here. So I'm pressing through that left heel as I press through the right. So even if I don't wanna straighten this leg right away, I can energetically just kind of connect sit bone to heel. Use that left palm to just kind of guide that left thigh down. Shoulders are relaxed, and I breathe here. Notice left toes are pointing up towards the sky. Again, full body experience. You can begin to play with a little movement here, back and forth, maybe even left to right. And then if you're craving a deeper stretch, we'll bring that left foot up towards the ankle. Take a deep breath in, and on an exhale, gently flex those, uh, excuse me, flex the right toes, flex that right foot. Bring the big toes towards your third eye. <sighs> a 
right sit bone nice and heavy here dropping that hip into socket let's take one more deep breath in here and a long exhale out sweet softly bend that right knee if it isn't already we'll release the strap and we're going to take just a little baddha konasana in between so bring the soles of the feet together open the knees wide bring the hands to the belly and chill lower back comes up we open the chest we breathe in and out and then we'll take it to the other side so draw the knees in towards the center keep the sole of that right foot on the ground for stability again we'll move nice and slow taking the strap into both hands we'll catch the left foot now paying attention to the chest and lower back here as we get set up for our stretch breathe nice long smooth deep breaths so the tendency again is shoulders everything's going to want to be here so that we can keep this get this deep stretch here be kind Create a full body experience, work nice and slow. So open in the chest, flush in the lower back, keep this bent as generously as you need. So we might be here, breathing, rocking back and forth. Or we might be here. Now that you know what you're doing here, you might close your eyes, soften the skin of the face. And then we can totally just stay here or, or we'll move on to the next step, which is taking the strap into the left hand here, clasping with the left palm. And then slowly using the right palm to press the right thigh bone down as we slide that right heel down towards the bottom edge of the mat. And we breathe. Inhale, you might take a nice full belly breath here on this next inhale. And on this next exhale, you might consider just letting the weight of that left sit bone drop down, that left hip really drop into socket here. Noticing the sensations and using that breath. For your last breath cycle, you might grab the strap with both hands again, flex the left toes with the Lex, the left, <laughs> the Lex foot, the Lex Luther foot, the left foot, what? And then using an exhale, we'll soften through that left knee, release the strap to the side of the mat, and hug both knees into the chest. Rock a little left to right. Breathe. Then we'll cross the right ankle over the left, grab the outer edges of the feet, bend the elbows left to right here, take a deep breath in, breathing into the outer edges of the hip. And then we'll bring our mind's eye or our awareness to the space between the navel and the spine and begin to rock and roll. One of my favorite pastimes on this channel. <laughs> Oh, nothing like watching yourself on camera doing this, but come on, yeah. Come on, now. <laughs> I'm just trying to inspire a little fun as we massage the spine. Rock a little back and forth. Smile. Let's do one more. And then we'll rock all the way up to seated and come to all fours. Preparing for downward facing dog. There's no rush. Spreading the palms wide. We have a foundations for downward facing dogs. So if you're interested in kind of the basics or just going a little deeper in this posture, finding more ease, more strength, check her out. Okay, sending the sit bones up towards the sky. I'm going to keep the knees nice and bent here. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, begin to pedal the feet. So we drop one heel down as we lift one heel up. And then we switch nice and easy. And we switch, sit bone to heel connection. And we switch. Good thing I wore my leopard pants for this move. And a couple more times. Make sure you're not holding in the neck here. Once you figure it out with the video, relax the weight of the head down. And bend a little back and forth. Massaging the feet and really get your money's worth here. Not just the hamstrings, but shoulders drawing away from the ears, navel to the spine, lower belly in. 
as we massage the feet, press into all 10 knuckles. And then we're gonna take it for a little bit of a walk. So come on to your tippy tip toes. And we're gonna slowly walk the toes towards the center of the mat. Once again, we'll bend the knees, super generous. Belly comes to the tops of the thighs. And we grab the elbows and release the weight of the head over. So again, it's all connected. So we're not just targeting these poor sweet little hammies, but the full sit bone to heel connection, the upper back, oh, the psoas, everything wrapping around here as we breathe and just check in. So you might sway a little side to side. It might be finding stillness for you today. Perhaps you've already been working on kind of creating space in the hammies. You begin to straighten the legs, draw the chin into the chest. So it's more than just uh, kind of teaching all levels here for me. It's really about finding what feels good and being present based on um, you know, what, what the body's telling you. The practice is always going to be different. The stretches are going to feel, always going to feel different. It's about kind of listening and being in the moment. So take a couple seconds here, a couple seconds more to just linger, to breathe. If you're new to the practice, you might experience a little bit of a shake. So soften the knees and use your breath to smooth that out. Great, on your next breath in, find a flat back position. We'll inhale, slide the palms to the shins, loop the shoulders, pull the elbows back like little grasshopper legs. Inhale, look forward, breathing, sit bone to heel connection, and exhale, soften the knees and slide it down. Okay, great, so fingertips are gonna come to the mat. I'm gonna slide the right toes back into my runner's lunge. Take a second here to find that sit bone to heel connection, really spike that right heel towards the back wall, pull the left hip crease back, and find what feels good. A little movement here as we open the shoulders, the heart forward. And then on an exhale, I'll slowly soften the right knee down. If we need to, we can double up on the mat here, cushioning the right knee, revealing the beautiful underbelly of my current mat, um, just for a little extra padding. So that's an option. You can always use a towel or a blanket too. Great, right toes are curled under. I'm gonna slowly inch my left toes towards the front edge of the mat, just a little bit. Fingertips on the mat here. I inhale, look forward. Exhale, I'm gonna slowly begin to pull left hip crease back and really flex through my left foot. So not soft here, but really keeping that integrity of left uh, uh, thigh bone firming and left hip crease pulling back. Again, we can always pad the knee here if we need. And then rather than sending it all the way back, so some of us are used to this, we're gonna see if we can keep it nice and stacked. So right knee and right hip are nice and stacked here as I breathe. I flex the foot just like I did on my back and peel that le left hip crease towards the back edge. Now we can inhale in here, lift and lengthen. Exhale, come onto the palms if you can and relax the weight of the head over. Two more just like that. Inhale onto the fingertips. We loop the shoulders, lift and lengthen, look forward. Keep the integrity of that left foot here. And on an exhale, bow and release. Last one, inhale, and exhale, fold. Awesome, inhale, slowly rolling through that left foot. We lift the back knee up, and once again, we look forward as we rock the back toes up to meet the front, Uttanasana, forward fold. Now this time you can experiment with the same thing, feet hip width apart, you can rock a little side to side. Or to take it a step further, just to kind of experiment, we're gonna bring the feet flush together now, maybe keeping a little bit of space, maybe like an inch uh, worth between the heels. So two big toes together, little space between the heels. We inhale, lift a flat back, your version, and exhale, release. Interlacing fingertips behind the calves. We bend the elbows left to right and relax the weight of the head over. Now notice I'm not slamming, locking my legs here, but I'm giving it a little time and space again, considering every muscle fiber, Reminding myself that it's all connected as I breathe deep here, pressing into all four corners of the feet. To take it a step further, we might grab the elbows behind the legs and then just know that we can also still be here, working it out. So it's great, especially if you wanna to return to the video, there's always lots of variations, ways to experiment. For me, that's what keeps the practice lovely. Let's take one more deep breath in here or wherever you are. 
and then gently release. Awesome, this time we slide the left toesies back and come into our runner's lunge. So there's also a foundations pose for runner's lunge. I highly recommend you check it out because this is a great uh, transition pose that often we kind of blow through. Just keep the legs and the knees in particular nice and happy. Great, inhale, look forward. And exhale, slowly lower that left knee down. Again, feel free to pad the knee here. Left toes are curled under. We make sure that uh, we stack the left hip over the left knee. So again, a tendency is to kind of come here, which is where the pose looks pretty awesome. I'm like, wow, look how flexible I am. But I think that it's more beneficial and a little bit safer, actually, to keep this stacked. So we walk the right toes out. They're both good, different things, different strokes for different folks, as they say. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, inhale, looking forward. And exhale, rocking it back. So I'm not just straightening my right leg, I'm really pulling the right hip crease back, leveling the hips here. And flexing that right foot. <sighs> Breathe deep. If you're feeling a little wobbly, you can always come onto the top of that left foot for stability. But for me and my body type, this feels more stable. Left toes curled under. All right, let's find a little movement, a little flow. We inhale, look forward, smile. And exhale, maybe coming onto the palms. Keep that right foot flexed as we bow forward. Integrate the breath. We inhale, loop the shoulders, open the heart, lengthen. And exhale, working with those muscles, working with the breath, we fold. Here we go, inhale. And exhale, release. Pimp, slowly we come back up, we roll through that right foot. We maybe fold our mat back down as we come back to our runner's lunge. Take a deep breath in here, and then exhale, plant the palms, step it back to your downward dog for two nice, long, smooth, deep breaths. Pedal it out, melt your heart back. Awesome, then we'll slowly lower back onto the knees. Cross the left ankle over the right, so we're just reversing kind of the way we went up here. We'll slowly come back to the buttocks and come back to flat back. So here we're going to grab uh, the block. If you don't have the block, then that's okay. We can use like a nice firm book. hey -o. Or we can um, <laughs> uh, screw the props all together and just use our hands. So I'll start with the block, and we're going to come to flat back. So take your block or your book, and we're gonna basically go in the same order as before. So sole of the left foot comes to the earth, and we're gonna send the right leg all the way up. Really let the weight of that hip just drop in a socket here, and then pay attention to lower back and upper body here too as well, just like we did before. Nothing like the support of the earth here to check in with these tight hammies, to check in with the backs of the legs. So I'm gonna take the block straight to my hammy here, Straight to Miami, flex the right foot, keep the shoulders relaxed, and we're gonna find a little resistance here. So I'm not just pulling this block or the, the book, or the option here is to interlace the fingertips and use the firmness of the palms to do this as well. But rather, and this is important, and this is about strengthening these muscles. So we stretch and then we strengthen, right? So I'm not just pulling the block to my right thigh, but rather pressing back with the thigh. So really left hamstrings lengthening towards the sky as I flex through that right foot, and I'm finding a little give and take here. You can stay here or we can slide that right heel down just as we did before. <laughs> Sound effects. And then, you know me, God is in the details or the devil's in the details, however you want to see it. This right shoulder might start to pull up, so just ground down through that right shoulder. Keep dropping this right hip socket down with an exhale. <sighs> Energetically pressing through that right heel, and we find a little resistance. So it might be here, it might be here, or it might be a little further. Just find where it is today and breathe. Let's do three more breaths here. Let's 
sweet. And then we'll soften through that right knee and switch. Nice and easy. <laughs> nice and easy. Okay, here we go. Sole the right foot on the mat. Maybe send the left foot up. Go ahead and catch the back of that leg here with your block, your book, or your palms. And again, this is about finding that resistance. So we're not just pulling up here. It's kind of the opposite. Uh, we're pressing with that hamstring. We're strength. <laughs> I can't wait till I get hamstrings. Um, we're pressing into the hamstring and we're really finding that, again, that energy out through the left heel. Neck is nice and long, long and beautiful. Stay here, use the sole of that right foot for as little stability, especially if you're starting to feel that prana, that energy, that shake, um, or slide it down, experiment. So nice supportive stretching here. Let's do three more breaths. Enjoy this time. And then when you feel satisfied, we'll bend that left knee. Soften it out, release the props to the sides, send both legs out long, reach the fingertips up, full body stretch, point the feet, move the ankles, the wrists, take a deep, the wrists, the wrist. Take a deep breath in, smile, and exhale, release, Shavasana. Okie doke, so that was the sequence to strengthen and lengthen the hamstrings. Uh, I think that of all videos, this is a really good one to favorite or click add to down below so that you can return to the video more easily um, and find ease in the hamstrings. Slowly begin to work with that flexibility and give it time. Um, my biggest suggestion to you is find what feels good and give it time, particularly with this particular muscle group and the backs of the legs. Alrighty, leave questions or comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Join the Yoga with Adrienne family. We'd love to have you. We'll see you next time. Namaste.